Have you been trying to cast out fear and it hasn't worked? Did you know there's actually demons fueling fear? And we spend so much time focused on fear that we don't get out the demons that are behind it. And if we don't get out the demons behind it, we don't get free and stay free. Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. In this teaching, learn how to receive and release the ministry of deliverance and conquer spiritual warfare led by the Holy Spirit. Kathy is passionate about exposing the enemy and assisting people to conquer torment in their minds. Kathy's new book, Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace, can be ordered wherever books are sold. Now, get ready to receive revelation, impartation, and deliverance with Kathy DeGraw. Hey friends, want to welcome you back to my show and I love it every time I get to expose the enemy and there's nothing I love talking about more than fear. Why? Because the enemy bound me in fear for so long. I think it's payback time every time I get to talk about fear and give the devil havoc for all the warfare that he put on me, guys. I love setting the captives free. And so today, this episode, I don't care if you're listening to Spotify or iTunes, guys, where you're listening to this on YouTube, it's payback time. So just declare that out right now. It is payback time. I want to expose four demons behind fear, four demons that we don't think about that cold labor with fear that we don't cast out. I believe one of the reasons that people don't get delivered is because you're so busy casting out fear that you're not looking at what fuels fear. And the first thing that fuels fear is a lying spirit, a lying spirit saying you're not going to get healed. You're not going to get ahead in your finances, whatever it is, you know, that fear, a lying spirit, you're going to get fired, a lying spirit that your spouse is cheating on you, whatever it is, you're buying into a lie. You have 30 to 60 seconds to capture that lie before it captures you. And if you don't capture that lie, it's going to capture you. And so bind that lie, restrict it, but cast it out. Lying spirits are just that. They're spirits. They're demons that must be cast out, guys. So I want to encourage you. Do some deliverance on yourself as we're doing this today and say, lying spirit, get out of me in Jesus' name. All right? Now, the next one I want to talk about is a familiar spirit. The demonic hierarchy has monitoring spirits and familiar spirits. These familiar spirits are just that. They're familiar with what you fear. They're familiar with how you react. They keep giving you demonic assignment after demonic attack, and you have to cast them out. you got to bind them and restrict them. You say, I bind and I restrict every familiar spirit, every demon of fear. I command it to go. Guys, we talk about this in my book, Mind Battles. This is all on every battle you face in your mind, whether it's rejection, depression, fear, anxiety, whatever it is. I dedicated an entire chapter on familiar spirits, an entire chapter on mind binding spirits. Mind binding is woven throughout the whole book, but we got to know how to get rid of those familiar spirits. And I talk about that a lot too in my book, Prophetic Spiritual Warfare. We got to cast them out. We got to bind them and restrict them. And even in mind battles, I help teach you, do these attack during a certain time, a season, reason? I help you through the deliverance process and teach you how to pray six weeks ahead of that season to pray on the offense to bind and restrict them from attacking. But fear is something that's going to keep circulating, guys, and looping until you cast out all the associated demons. Now, when I was researching for my book, Mind Battles, I really discovered even more than fear, I probably had torment. When I was looking at all the definitions of stress, anxiety, fear, torment, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, the devil would just like lock my brain down for like 36 hours and I wouldn't be able to pray, worship. I tell you, I'd try and press through, but I feel like this luring demon always keeping me locked down in a negative way of thinking. So that's a spirit of torment, but we're so busy casting out fear that we're not grabbing that spirit of torment. And the thing that I found in deliverance about the demonic hierarchy, unless we really have some supernatural deliverance going on, um, they want to be called out individually. They want to be called out by name. Okay. 
And so you got to address that. Lying spirit, get out of me in Jesus' name. Fearful spirit, get out of me in Jesus' name. Tormenting spirit, get out of me in Jesus' name. And then there's also a mind-binding spirit, guys. And I've told you this probably a hundred times now, but that's why my publisher signed me for Mind Battles because she's like, I've never heard of a mind-binding spirit and I know people have that, okay? And so you got to get the book. You got to get the book. Don't just rely on the podcast and the e-courses and the lives and the socials to get you free. Walk out, work out your deliverance. And in this book, I'm taking you through step by step. Guys, I was a master of fear. I hate to say that, but I was. I mean, it plagued me. It tormented me. I had fear of water, fear of being over bridges, fear of the dark. I had fear of heights, fear of driving on snow, fear of driving on ice. Uh, fear of medical ailments, health ailments, health issues, fear of finances. Come on. I hate to keep even going. All right. I had fear of death. I remember that. That's a lot of fear. I rebuke all that in Jesus name. I thank you, God, that it feels so good to be free. But friends, that's what we need to do is we need to figure out what all demons are working together. There's a hierarchy. There are commanders. The demonic realm is organized, disciplined, and committed. And we need to cast out those demons accordingly. And that's why even in my mind um, battles book in every chapter of all my books, guys, whether you got unshackled, whether you got mind battles, whether you got prophetic spiritual warfare, they all give you demon listings for different things. As you read the chapters, different things that you encounter, I tell you all the demons that are associated with that so you don't just do surface deliverance. We got to go deep. There's no more time for just surface level deliverance. We got to go deeper. We got to pull on the spiritual realm. We got to partner with the Holy Spirit and we need to get our deliverance and breakthrough. So I need you to do a favor. I need you to share this with a friend. I want to pray for you, but I need people to you know, know what we're doing and how we're exposing the enemy and these demons of fear so that they can be free. So friends, right now in the name of Jesus, I come against that spirit of fear that's attacking you. And I say, get out in Jesus name. Every line buying spirit, I command you out in the name of Jesus. Every lying spirit, I command you to go. Every mind binding spirit, I command you to get out. Every spirit of torment, get out in Jesus name. Every familiar spirit, I bind you, I rebuke you, and I tell you to flatline and get out in the name of Jesus, you will not loop and repeat cycles and seasons and patterns. Every monitoring spirit, I command you to be bound and restricted in the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak and decree for the abundance of God to come upon you, for the Holy Spirit to fill you afresh and the fire of God to consume you and the oil of his spirit to pour out over you. Friends, I want to encourage you Head over to my website, get those books. And while you're doing it, since you're doing some deliverance, grab yourself a bottle of anointing oil so you can anoint yourself before you um, pray, before you read, and just expect the Holy Spirit to come and just anoint your mind and be like, I have the mind of Christ. I'm calling any demon out of you. Anoint yourself every day if you have to for a while until those demons flee. The demons hate the oil because the oil represents the Holy Spirit. Guys, who's in the sun sets free? It's free indeed. The truth you know, it'll set you free. Get yourself some truth. Get yourself some deliverance and be on your way to breakthrough. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.